YouTube, it's the Brick Adjuster here with another episode of Playing with Lego. Today we have two special guests. We have Big T and Little Buskis. Big T and Little Buskis. Today we will be reviewing a Lego Batman movie set. This is Batcave Breakin. It's set number 70909 and it has 1047 pieces. So here we go. Enjoy. Whoa! It's the Batcave. <laughs> Which is from 8 to 14. And it, it has 1047 pieces. And it's not as cool as the regular one because you, you, you just need to put the things for him to turn into Batman. Okay. Oh, it's Batman. Yeah. Oh, it's Batman. Yeah. The first minifigure we have is Bruce Wayne with his tuxedo. This is an awesome looking minifigure. We have a little flower or corsage there. He has a bow tie, a black bow tie that you can just slip around his neck. And from the back, uh, nothing special on the back. And Bruce Wayne also comes with an alternate face where he's winking. That's cool. And here we have Batman with his utility belt, the yellow utility belt that you can slip on. Um, besides that, I don't think there's anything else that's special about this Batman. He has, I don't know, nice abs. Batman does come with an alternate face where you can see his mouth opening. When you take off his cowl, that is how he looks. And here is Batman's back torso printing with the rippling muscles. Here we have the Bat Pack Bat Suit where we got the gold tuxedo, we got the bat pink bow tie. He doesn't come with a face because it's just a suit, but you also get a nice microphone, and the cape's nice. I like the gold shimmer there. On the back of the cape, it's just black, and it's the old type of capes, not the flimsy capes, which is nice to have. No printing on the pants, though. This is scuba bat suit. We got the flippers, the orange flippers there, the orange utility belt, and oxygen mask. And it's just it's a different type of Batman in a underwater wetsuit. There's the back. And again, no face because it's just a suit. Here we have the racing bat suit. I'm not sure why it's called the racing bat suit. It should be called the boxing bat suit because we have purple boxing gloves, which is nice, a uh, bat belt, and some nice shorts there. So you can see we have a stripe on the shorts. And on the back, just rippling muscles on this bat suit. Here is the penguin, and the penguin is awesome. I love the new hat. Look at this hat, it slopes and it's long. It's a different hat that we've gotten before. Penguin also comes with a great looking umbrella. I don't think we've gotten an umbrella like this. It's a closed umbrella, very nice. And this, um, not sure what it's called. Thing around the neck. It's not a scarf. Fur? Let's call it fur. He has a cool torso too and short legs. Oh and there's printing. Printing on his wrist. And here we have Alfred Pennyworth and he's a cool looking minifigure. I love the hair piece, the bald hair piece and that just kind of comes on and off like so. He also comes with a white bow tie, not the black one like Bruce Wayne and a cool looking jacket and vest. Very nice. From the back, I guess you can see his coattails. And lastly, we have two penguins that are both weaponized with a hacksaw and a claw. But these are penguins minions. So here's the main build and this is the Batcave. The Batcave break-in from the Lego Batman movie. And it actually looks better than I thought it would be. From the picture, it looked a little flimsy. Still kind of looks flimsy and study, but has some cool features. We have a control panel here in the shape of a bat. All of these are stickers. So just getting a look at all the stickers there. Um, over here is another control station with the chair, the turning chair, and then there's all the little panels over here. We actually have an elevator here that goes up. So I guess Bruce Wayne can 
stand there and then it lifts him up and then he can sit in his chair. This here is a little feature, so Bruce Wayne goes here, we turn this knob and he turns into Batman. So, just spins around in a circle. Batman. Um, what else? Over here are all his costumes. And so, I guess you can add more bat costumes in here. And it's just a, a Technic turn style here. So we got the, the different bat suits. Over here is a jail cell. So I guess in this, you would trap the penguin because he's the villain in here. Um, oh, and then that's the break-in. So you turn that knob and the back comes off and you can have the penguin escape. We have a walkway here on the top that goes all the way around. And that's pretty much it. Here's that break-in mechanism from the back. So we turn the knob and it just busts it open. And then from the back view, not so exciting. We have some big ugly rock pieces here. Technic beams. We got one of the yellow, not sure what these are called, but those pieces. And here's that walkway again from the back all the way across. And that's pretty much it for the bat cave, the bat cave break in. We got a few little little bats here as well. One bat over here and another bat over there. Love the bats. Oh, and this turns. Not sure why it needs to turn, but it turns. We also get a bat boat in the cool red and black colors here. Looks really nice and sleek. It comes with uh, stud firing missiles and I guess Batman just sit in there. There's the control panel. And these are all stickers here. Riptide. Not sure what Riptide is supposed to mean, but we have Riptide stickers on both sides. There's the bottom. And a big booster at the back. Oh, and you get a Nexonite shield. And here's another build we get. We get a motorized ducky. A duck on wheels with a little propeller on the back. And these don't fire out, but you can position the missiles. And we have stud firing missiles there in the front too. And it's a cute little duck. That's a, st that's a sticker, duck and cover. And that's the back view of this motorized duck. Big T! Yeah. What's your favorite part of the set? My favorite part is how this holds batterings. Oh yeah, I didn't even know, know that holds batterings. What else? I like how this turns. The conveyor belt. Which one's your favorite bat suit of the three there? I like um, I like this one. With the boxing gloves? Boxing gloves. What else do you like? I uh, like how this thing can turn. Oh, I'm Bruce Wayne, I'm Batman. I'm Bruce Wayne, I'm Batman. Uh, do you like any of the vehicles? I like this one. The motorized ducky? The... What's your favorite minifigure? My favorite minifigure is this guy. Who is that guy? Um, Alfred I Pennyworth. Know, I, know, I know he is. Pennyworth. Uh, what would you rate this set out of 10? 5. 5? Do you like this better or worse than the old Batcave? Worse. Worse? Why? Because it's smaller. Oh, it is? Oh. <laughs> Little Buskis. What? What's your favorite part of the set? My favorite part of the set is the minifigure thing. Oh, the conveyor belt? Yeah, it, it's really fun to turn. Yeah. A and you can put like other things on it. You could. What else do you like? Uh, I like how I like how the wall breaks. Oh, that. yeah. And I like um, how Batman like... So basically you like all the features. What's uh, your favorite vehicle? Oh, my favorite vehicle? The duck duck! Oh, you like the ducky? Yeah. What about your favorite minifigure? My favorite minifigure? Uh, I actually like this. I actually like this costume. I just like the costume. That one, the gold one? Yeah. That's cool. What would you rate this set out of 10? Um, I'll give it like a 10. 10 out of 10, wow. Because it has a gold cape. Nice. Okay. My favorite part of the set would have to be the minifigures. I love the bat pack, bat suit. That's awesome. The penguin minifigure is cool with the hat, the new hat and the umbrella. 
Alfred is awesome with the bald hair piece there. And the tuxedo for Bruce Wayne. All nice. If I were to rate this set, I would say just part it out, but keep the minifigures. So this concludes this episode of Playing With Lego. This is the Brick Adjuster with Big T and Bill Buskin. Signing off. Thanks for watching and we will see you guys in another video. Bye. Bye. Bye.